the spurs, those are these two parts right here. And the spur also has a little pointy part because remember, you want to put this on carpet. You don't want to do your drum set on any kind of hard flowing a tile, a wood floor, a cement like we have here. You want it to be on carpet so the uh, kick drum doesn't travel. So what I've done is I've located the spurs and I've located the wing nut that goes into the uh, spur assembly. This particular drum set has the spurs that go inside to the drum. So this is more of a vintage type uh, assembly. Other drum sets have them on the side, but this one goes into the drum. So I'm putting it into here and I'm taking the wing nut and just fastening it into here, like so. Now I've put together quite a few drum sets, so I know that just from experience, I need about, for me, about three or four fingers distance. I'm gonna tighten this all the way by hand. So three or four fingers distance, so about here, and that's probably gonna be pretty good for how I want the drum to sit, the kick drum to sit. Because this kick drum, you want it to be off the floor slightly. So once again, I'm putting this through the assembly. I'm going about four fingers. And I'm taking my wing nut and putting it through. Now one thing I want to show you a little trick every once in a while, if the wing nut or a bolt doesn't go in, what you can do is you can just slightly wet it a little bit. And I'll do that for you. So I'm just going to take just a little bit of saliva there. And that, believe it or not, that will help it. You don't want to use any oil or anything like that, just a little, a little bit will do. And tighten it all the way, as tight as you can hand tighten it. Once again, it's hand tight. Don't over tighten anything, because at one point you're going to have to take it apart. Now, this is ready to go on the floor. And I'm a little bit uneven, as you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the adjustment. This is perfect, it's not rocking back and forth, it's great. The next thing that I'm gonna do is a little bit out of the uh, normal way, because typically I'd be on the floor setting the whole thing up, but since I'm on cement, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna set up the uh, drum throne or the drum chair. So the drum chair comes in two parts. First part is going to be the stand, and this stand will just come down like this, and I'll tighten it to place with the wing nut. And it has the stand, and the other portion of it is going to be the seat, which is right here, and there's a wing nut on that as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the seat onto the stand and tighten the wing nut. Now this particular seat is not a swivel seat, so it won't go around in a circle or anything, it'll stay stationary. The reason why I'm doing this right now is because I want to get off the floor because I have to set up the uh, tom toms. Before I set up the uh, two tom toms, the 12 and the 13, what I'm going to do is I'm going to locate the tom tom arms. So this is the tom tom arm, and on the tom tom arm it has a collar, two collars. One collar is going to be for the tom tom. The other uh, collar is actually going to fit into the tom-tom uh, -tom assembly. And you'll need your drum key for this to loosen them up slightly. And I'm doing this right now. And one of the things I like to do also is, if you can see this uh, bolt right here, I like to put these on the outside. So that'll make it easier when I do the adjustment. This is on the outside here. And you'll see a little notch in this, and a little notch over here, the male-female part. And that'll slide right in there. I'm tightening it up in the back with the wing nut. And now I can move this around. And I'm just getting these out of the way. So when I set up the tom-tom, I have somewhere to rest the tom-tom. So it's got two of them. Here's the other one. And once again, I like to put these on the outside because it's gonna make it a lot easier when I do the adjustment. There's a little male part here. There's a little female part right on here on the assembly, and there is a wing nut that needs to be loosened slightly. Don't take it all the way out. Otherwise, you've got to put it back in. And loosen this up. Collar. Drop the collar in here. Put it in place. Tighten it slightly. Not all the way tight. You're going to want to move it. 
can see it's too tight, so I can't move it. Now it's loose enough and I can move it. I'm going to drop this down too so you can watch me put on the TomTom uh, -tom heads. The TomTom -tom heads and are the same type of configuration as this without the clasp. And I'm going to show you that. And when this was packaged, it actually had the rims already attached to it. So we had to take the um, uh, bug nut off of it and, the, and the washer off of the rim. The rim comes up just like this. And once again, just be careful. But I take that off. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to locate the head. Now, it's a little bit different because the resonator head for your kick drum is the one with the logo. But the beater head, the one that you're going to beat, or the one that you're going to play on, on the tom-toms, is the one with the logo. So here's the logo head, right here. And now I'm going to put this logo head onto the onto the tom, -tom. Right back. All right, what I've done is I've located the, the beater head that I'm going to use, and I'm lining it up with the logo. So if you see right over here, the badging, and that way when I set up the set, I know that the logo on the beater head is going to be pretty much where I want it to be. Now I've taken my rim, and I've put this right on top, match it up with the lugs, and once again, I've got one of these lug bolts right here, one of the plastic washers, I'm going to put the washer through, I'm going to line it up with the lug, and once again, we're going to do these all very loosely by hand. So this one has five, and I'm going to do this one. And I'm going to locate my other bolts. Here's another one. I've already put the washer through. And I like to do it on the opposite side, just for the heck of it. So that's my hand. And I'll be right back. Once again, I'm working on the 12-inch tom. So I've got the small bolt here. And the washer, I put the washer through the bolt, through the rim. Onto the lug assembly, and now that it's loose, I'm good to go. And I'm going to tighten them up the best I can by hand first. And then I'm going to come back with the drum key and tighten that up. And all I'm doing right now is just getting the creases out. All the wrinkles, all the creases, the seams, whatever you want to call it today. We just want to get them all out. We're not trying to tune this part yet. Once we've got that out, that's great. And it's going to look just like this. I'm going to turn it over and repeat the same process. And now the resonator head. And the resonator head is the blank one. Very, very simple. I put this on top like this. I locate the rim. Match that up. My bolt. Here's one that already has the washer on it. Put that right through. And I'm going to repeat that. Once again, I'm putting the washer through the lug bolt. Lug bolt through the rim, onto the assembly, tightening it all by hand. And it's a resonator head, so unless you're going to get really into the science of tuning your drum set, which is a different lesson than assembling it. All I'm going to do is get all the seams out. Basic rule. Looking pretty good. And just one quick check with the drumstick, or even the drum key. It just depends on uh, what you want to do. I can even do it with the drum key. And I want to hold it up a little bit, and I want to hear it. Very even, so that everything's very even. If it sounds a little bit low, you want to tighten it up. If it sounds too high, you want to loosen it up. 